Welcome back everybody to Make Sure Daily where you go to get your daily bills. And today what we did is we built a White House. And the reason is, is President's Day is coming up. You gotta celebrate past presidents. So what I've done is assembled a collection of monuments associated with the presidencies. So this is the White House and uh, we're gonna build the Washington Monument and Lincoln Memorial and all kinds of different things associated with President's Day. So this is the White House. I think it turned out fairly okay with the limited pieces that we have. We utilized almost all the white pieces that we have in this kit and it turned out okay. Um, if you think you can do better, make sure to grab the kit down below. It, there's a link to Amazon affiliate link. We get a little bit of a kickback if you go ahead and buy the kit and then get it, play along with us each and every day. Okay. Let's go check out how I built this White House in around five minutes of time. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we got to build a White House um, out of the 221 pieces that you see here. So this is all the white pieces that I have and we need to build a entire White House. So let's put uh, five minutes on the clock reset cancel that and start so now we got to build a white house so it's got four columns out front and those are the things that i'm most worried about honestly uh everything else we'll figure out but the columns uh, that's what i'm most worried about so here are two columns uh there is a kind of fence to the top so we'll, we'll keep those for for utilizing that oh can we use just these Maybe we just use those as the front columns, but then everything else has to be much bigger. Maybe we could do that, no. Um, I got the camera up a little bit higher than normal, and the reason for that is I really thinking with all these monuments that we're building for President's Day, I want to have um, a little bit more zoomed out approach to these builds. Okay, so we're one minute in and I don't have anything yet. Okay, so what about, Something like that, and then windows on the inside, like this, maybe. Okay, and now we got to bring in a lot of the pinks because the pinks are the closest to white. And if we're building a white house and we don't have enough whites, might as well bring in the pinks, right? So maybe uh, the only other thing that we could do is uh, these use these as columns, right? But we don't have a lot of those, so they would have to be different colors. And I think that would throw off the whole look of the White House. So we're going to not do that. Um, okay. I'm thinking we got to be this tall. Here. So maybe something like this. Maybe something like that, All right? Bring that over here, duplicate that effort. Okay, so then we have that. And then these will be the columns or represent the columns. Then how do we influence the windows. You know, we could do something like that. How would we do that? Okay, let's give that a try. Okay, I'm just trying things now. If we utilize that, and then can we put this in here? Yes, we can. And that looks like two levels of windows, which is what we're looking for for the White House. So that works. That works well. Okay. So there we go. So we got the sides are good. We got the sides and I'm liking the way that the sides look. Okay. So then let's see what we got. So now we put the columns back like that. And then there's an overhang for the columns. So let's use this as the overhang. And let's 
see what we can do here. Okay, fix that. So if the columns look like this, I actually want to take the camera down and get more of a front on look to this White House build. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks better. Move my light around on just a tad to get more. There we go. More light on the situation on the on the table here. It's a little dark today. I'm not sure. I'm taping at a different time of the day, so maybe that's what's happening than I normally do. So something like that. And then for the top, what I'm gonna do is do that. So everything's kind of linked together and then this on top of that, like that. And almost up for time. Then there's a little dangly bit. Yeah, that looks good actually if we set that back a little. Give it a little more three-dimensional-ness to it. Okay, so now, um, This goes here, something like that. No, nope, that's not gonna stay. Yeah, something like that. And then there is a little bit of a dome, but not much. So just, that's good. It's actually not a dome. Um, but there's a little more mass to the top there. So now we got that going on and we're five minutes in. These builds, I think, are going to last me a little bit longer than normal. So I have this set up. I like this. Um, yeah, there's a little hangy downy part uh, from the roof of the structure. There's like a chandelier. It's not a chandelier. It's like a lantern, actually. And so if we do that, maybe it'll look like a lantern in the middle. Of the, of the carriage house. Oh, the whole thing fell apart. Okay, so let's just rebuild this real quick. Okay. And then... There we go. And then there. There, so that's our White House. Um, it's okay. Structure-wise, it looks okay. Um, the windows, you know, it, having them set back a little bit, I think adds a lot of value in the, the size of what the windows are. You know, the window size is really big in comparison to what they are in the White House. So um, I think it's okay. So I like this, this lantern part, that looks right. Uh, there needs to be something in the middle here, you know, that looks like a doorway, and which I do not have. Maybe I can make this stand up in there. Yeah, that looks right. That looks right. So there's a, like a small little door where everybody enters into the White House. So honestly, that's not too bad. I don't like my lighting situation. That actually is the worst part of this whole thing. What if I turn this off? Yeah, I think the lighting is what's the problem with this lighthouse. Other than that, I think it looks pretty good. So, yeah, I like the way that the shadows are cast as well. Um, it, everything just needs to be a little bit brighter, but uh, I think that turned out really good. Okay, well, we'll stop the clock. Um, if you guys want to play along with us each and every day, make sure that you go pick up the kit. There's a link down below. And let's go talk about what we're going to build tomorrow. <laughs> Well, that White House was a cool build, pretty difficult with, with the limited pieces that we have. But now let's spin the wheel and find out what else we're going to build getting ready for the President's Day. So it's Rushmore. Now, I put this on the board thinking already that this is going to probably be the most difficult build that I've ever done with the small amount of pieces that we have. I have no idea how we're going to build the four faces. Faces are the hardest thing to build with Legos. So how are we going to build Rushmore with 221 pieces? I have no idea. But I put it on the board. I wanted to see what, if we can make it in five minutes 
probably make it in 10 minutes or more but let's go check it out so make sure to tune in tomorrow so you can see me fail at trying to build a mount rushmore okay let's go check it out and we'll see you tomorrow bye bye i'll leave you with this i hope that each and every one of you goes out and builds something or shares something each and every day if you like to build something go ahead and build it it doesn't matter what pieces you have or tools that you have just start building even if it's just out of cardboard just go ahead and make something to today you'll be happy that you did because you'll feel the accomplishments of going ahead and making something and sharing it with other people so i hope that you go out and build something and we will see you tomorrow at make share daily see you tomorrow bye bye